A top field of free-for-all pacers lining up for the graduate run to the bank. And red bow ties start in the second tier, and here they come. And they're off. Campbell aggressive with noble ability who gets a crack with the whip. Armbro positive shoots out. DM Dillinger is right there. And day in a life for Manzi is sprinting hard toward the lead. And it's Armbro positive who gets to the front. Day in a life moving up on the outside. He now rolls on to the lead. DM Dillinger is in the pocket third. And here comes Red Bowtie. Red Bowtie and Olette moving quickly on the outside. Now second and going after his stable mate as they head toward the quarter. Noble Ability parked on the outside fourth. First quarter in 27 and 4. Tulane the Gray is ranging up. He's sixth on the outside. Followed in the outer flow by Cam Knows Best. Run to the bank is locked in on the inside eighth. Toontown floats with cover. He's ninth on the outside, followed by BJ's Whirlwind. Racing in 11th is Hot Chili Pepper, and Bad Burt trails the field, and Noble Ability is hooked up with Red Bow Tie, and these two are slugging it out as they head down the backstretch. They rip off the half in 54-2, and two, a cutthroat duel with Red Bow Tie on the inside. Noble Ability stuck on the outside is pressing him, but now he's about half a length from the lead with three eights to go. On the inside, getting a good trip is Day in a Life, who's chasing from third. Armbro Positive is fourth. DM Dillinger tips off the pylons for Hennessy from fifth as they pace to the three-quarter marker, and Red Bowtie has fought off the challenge of noble ability. Three-quarters in one, 21 and four. Day in a Life, a perfect pocket trip. DM Dillinger swings wide. Armbro Positive waiting for clearance toward the inside. It's Red Bowtie with less than an eighth of a mile to go, and he's drawing clear, leading it by three. DM Dillinger trying to come on day in a life toward the inside. Late pace from BJ's whirlwind, but it's Red Bow Tie again. Red Bow Tie to win it. BJ's whirlwind may have saved second from a hard charging Toontown, 150 and four fifths. Coming back to the winner's circle, 1C, Red Bow Tie. Five year old Bay Gelding by Raging Glory, out of Cheers Lomont by Royce. All by Cliff Siegel, the TLP Stables, the Elegant Stables, and Scharf of New York and New Jersey. Trained by Monty Gelrod from the Duane Marfisi Stable, Luke Willett in the Sulky. Finishing second was number seven, BJ's Whirlwind. Third, number four, Toontown. And fourth was number three, DM Dillinger. Red Bow Tie captured the first leg of the graduate, his division at Freehold on April 10th. That he won the Classic at Dover, and he comes back in the Meadowlands leg of the graduate tonight. Red Bowtie's fourth win this year in six starts, the mile in 150 and four-fifths, and the results are official. In the winner's circle, Al and Lynn Papalardi to make the graduate series trophy presentation to the best older pacer in harness racing, Red Bowtie, second win tonight for Luke Willette. 1C, Red Bow Tie, pays $3, 240 210 Second, the 7, BJ's World Win, 620 210 And third, the 4, Toon Town, 210 to show. The Exacta 1 and 7 returns 3480 And the Trifecta Combination 1, 7 and 4 is worth $151.20. In the upcoming 8th race, there are no changes. Exacta Trifecta, pick 3 on 8, 9 and 10. In the ninth race, scratch number 10, LD's Jonathan. Ninth race, number 10, LD's Jonathan is scratched sick. No changes in the 10th race. Eighth race coming up in 15 minutes. Coming up momentarily in the winner's circle, Bob Hollywood Hayden will speak to some of the red bow tie connections. Thanks, Sam. We're here with Luke Ouellette. Luke, it doesn't make any difference what time of year. It doesn't make any difference of uh, layoffs or the distance. The red bow tie just keeps going on. And uh, tell us about tonight. Well, tell us about last week first, the distance. He seemed to handle that pretty well. Yeah, he won a, a mile and a quarter last week. And uh, I really never used him. It was like a training mile. I finished a mile with a, with, with a bow in his neck. He, I, I just had a real stronghold of him. Okay, tonight you made the lead 27-4, hotly contested second quarter. What was going on nearing the half? Well, I, I thought myself I had just had a, a, a big gift going to the corner in 27 and 4, and, and from there he'd go anything, you know. He's so strong, he's so sound right now. Uh, once I made the lead with him, I just kept going. 
Okay, and then deep stretch here at the time, 150 and 4. Did he tire in deep stretch or did he just shut him down? What happened? Well, you know, uh, there was no one around. I didn't have to call on him, and I had the bit right in his mouth, and he's an iron horse, and he's as sound as can be right now, so uh, I was pretty happy about that. Is it safe to say, or is it possible he's as good right now as he's ever been? Well, you know, let's play it week to week, you know, let's not be too cocky, but he's pretty good right now. Okay, Luke Ouellette, thanks. The Graduate Series second leg has gone to Luke Ouellette, Red Bowtie, Dwayne Marfisi, Montegaro, and all the connections. Congratulations.